Hey guys, how the SQL statement gets run from Express Postgres SQL. So let's say you want to run a SQL statement from Express. How would you go about doing that? What are your options? So one option is to use something called Node Postgres, short for PG, or that's the acronym they use. So is to just run SQL from, as you can imagine, and here's a little example of what it looks like. You just collect and you just pass as a string, right, what you want SQL to run. And then it allows you to get the data back, of course, and then you can do stuff with it, right? Um, and they have this for languages, so like if I want it, there's probably a, there's a Python version of this, Elixir version, there's a Ruby version, where it just allows you to in and that SQL will get run. That is one option. Uh, and this is a decent option if things are complicated and you want to really optimize your queries, it's written here. But one thing you can do to speed up development, something what's called an ORM, which is stands for Object Relationship Mapping. Um, and basically, it'll write the SQL for you, pretty much. Uh, at least a lot of it for you, and simplify the heavy lifting for you. And there's three, in my opinion, uh, for JavaScript, at least these are the uh, that are JavaScript ORMs, at least for using SQL. And the first one is called SQLize. So as you can see, you're not actually writing SQL here. Now you can do a query similar to this. For the most part, you'll be doing stuff like this. Um, like this, where you're passing in a JSON object. Um, actually building a SQL query here. SQLize does that for you. So these are the guys that will actually help you, you know, run your SQL fast. Now, that's the one thing. When you do SQLize or you do any other ORM, you're losing performance. This is going to give you the, um, because there's no overhead. SQLize does extra things, extra things happening, but development um, speed is important. And that's why ORMs are used. That's why SQLize over, say, something like this, because you uh, it's slow to write out all these queries where a SQL is done um, and this is a lot easier and more intuitive to write especially when stuff gets more complicated but um, in the querying section here there is a raw query okay I don't know oh here it is raw queries where you run from SQL is just a query like this but for the most part it like this and now I I have used SQLize for projects and that's what I'm using right now uh, to build the SQL statement and run it on Postgres, but other options I've heard are good are next.js and a bookshelf uses next uh, under the hood. But I actually, personally, I actually don't like SQL. I'm, actually, I'm using it, but I don't like it very much. I think I picked it first to try because it was the most popular. I want to switch over to trying out next.js. Next one looks pretty good. This is an ORM as well, um, and I think I might. Uh, or maybe I'll try book, bookshelf next. I'm not sure what I'll try out, but I definitely am not really happy with how SQLize works. But I mean, it's the job done, right? It's not awful. I'd say I have it's mediocre. Um, but honestly, I'm also I want to try doing this, like just do it writing. My, like this will be the most performant, and I like having vacation. The only thing that I don't know about when, for example. I, went, I don't know where I would call client.end and client or when to open up new connections and that sort of thing. Like, for example, SQLize is handled on the hood for you, and I'm not too skilled on how that if I create it. I mean, I, I assume you're not making a connection to every request that someone does to your server, but I'm not sure when you should be creating connections, how many connections you should make, that sort of thing. I actually need to educate myself on this. And get better at it because this is a very important thing to learn and it'll be very helpful with the performance of web applications about how to do this so I want to spend more time just using it and writing the raw queries myself but if you're a well this is good also if you want to learn SQL as well SQLize next they help you write Postgres SQL gets database super fast uh, development experience is super fast That's better if you want to spend more time and get better performance is of course more customization you can do because I'm sure SQL under the hood too. But yeah, that's that's it for this video. How you actually create these SQL statements in Express? It's libraries here. So if you see people using these, that's why. 
and these also work for not just Postgres but some different databases MySQL SQLize works for some different ones as well so if you guys have any questions about these feel free to leave a comment below um, and yeah I'll see you